Uh, hey guys, Case Algaro 17 Group here to do a very, um, very sudden, like, I don't know where update on my channel. Um, I don't really have anything written down to say, so everything I'm going to say is at the top of my head. So if I forget something, please excuse me. Um, and as you can tell, I'm, I'm doing this update out of nowhere because I'm looking like very bummy right now. But that's not the point. Um, so, um, let's see. As many of you always, um, in your updates, share what kind of models you would be getting next, I guess I would say that for the well being of my airport, I would be getting for sure the next aircraft would be the new Avia Mini release in August, the uh, Air Mexico Sky Team 767-200. Um, the new Gemini Jets, triple seven three hundred extended range American Airlines, and the new livery. Finally, great release. I have the old livery one, so it'll be nice to get a couple two of those. Would be nice. For my Chicago airport, definitely looking forward to building a new American fleet. Um, lots of seven three eights, lots of seven five twos, and. Straightforward. Anyone who has a 767-300 winglets, I am looking into buying one. One, I need it for my A collection. Two, it's a nice aircraft. And three, I flew on it to Miami just recently, so that would be nice to have. Um, I mean, so yeah, I'm pretty pretty much trying to build an American fleet now. No, I'm becoming a great American um, airlines fan. Still, still looking into Mexicana and every never Mexico and all that stuff, but Americans, it's, it's pretty up there. Um, speaking of American, that brings me to my Chicago O'Hare Airport. That's going great. Um, I plan on buying the mat for it for the Jamaica's Airport. So hopefully that will happen in a month from now, and from there I'll be happy to rearrange aircraft more and to nice details to make a realistic Chicago airport. By doing that, I'm going to have to buy some couple more models to fill in the Chicago airport spot. First order of business is going to buy a uh, lot 787 and most likely will also be getting my hands on an Iberia A330, uh, Lufthansa A380. What else? What else would I buy? Um, I know their Air Phoenix release Air Shikles. I forgot what it's called. Um, that is a nice aircraft. That has to be by far one of the best liveries out there. And I really need to get my hands on one of those, even though it fits nothing in my collection worth. But it is a great aircraft to have on display. If I even had extra money, I would consider the Fiji one too, because that one is by far impressive um what else uh what were these releases um oh um, i forget oh condor condor 767 there so that's from my cancun airport um i'm stuck between whether i should continue buying more trying to find some more interjet and volaris aircraft I have three of each already, three Interjet, three Volaris, three Mexicana, A330, A320 actually, normal colors. Um, what's going on with Mexico City Airport? It's, uh, as you can tell, I removed my airport from the table it was on to put the Chicago one on there. And Mexico City is sitting on a different board right now. It has the foils with it, but... It's in really bad shape right now, so I don't know. It's in bad shape. Uh, I don't know why I want to show that on camera, but anyways, um, what else do I have to say? Anyway, for that airport, I really want to get an update going for that probably this week. It won't be in the best conditions, but it'll do for now, and hopefully, I'll be able to to re renovate it um, in the future in the next coming two months, month. Months to two months, I'll, for sure in two months I'll be done. Also with Mexico City Airport Terminal 2, with the Aeromexico side, 
that has to be um, completed. It's been a while since that project's been delayed. So hopefully everything, all the space, I have the space, that's one thing. I just need to find the right materials now to fix it again, which means I have to have another, you have to go to FedEx office to print a lot of more foils. So I have to modify them so they could fit my aircraft also. Because in Mexico City, it took a long time to modify exact measurements for it. And what else? Um, what else has been going on? Not much, really. I mean, that's 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 mainly what I I have in mind. Um, through my channel, wise, just to get those airports get going again. Getting more aircraft, doing reviews, unboxing is pretty much it. Nothing, nothing too special. I don't have anything else going on. Um, hmm. This is tough. I will mention I do love watching everyone's airport videos the most out of anything. Um, I like to keep myself updated with people's airports, whatever they're gonna have going on on their channel. I'll mainly look into anything a channel has. Except for one thing, spotting videos. Oh dear, those have infested my my um my subscription box. And wow, uh, I don't know. There there are a lot of spotting videos out there, and starting not to like seeing them. So I really love airport updates, channel updates, contests, and everything. Even though I don't answer them, but they're nice to see out there. Not that I, I like to see a lot of um, people's, just what they're up to, their airport alliances and stuff like that. And speaking of which, brings me to the Blue Alliance. It's going to major reconstruction program right now, renovation, because mainly China. I think what we're trying to, what I'm, I'm personally, I'm trying to keep the alliance doing is keep, keeping it updated. What do you mean by that updated? Well, I mean that the members in the alliance aren't showing their face only once and then leaving forever. No, um, so that looks bad, and we all know the, how that happens. And rule of thumb number one, it's rarely hard to keep an alliance um, up to date. A lot of people think it's easy and like they blame you know like a uh, person in charge saying that oh you know there's nothing going on but really the thing that keeps the alliances um, running are its members. And members and new ideas that's really that's the key to everything. So participation and new ideas. Um, because even for me to see other people's videos, like, it's sad to see when someone has a great idea for an alliance, and then to see that people want to join, want to join, and then they don't contribute anything to it at all. And, I don't know, like, you have these great members and everything like that, but they don't create routes between each other and stuff like that, and it's just uh, frustrating for me as a viewer to even see someone's video like that. But anyways, it's a good, I think it's a creative idea. Alliances especially have a nice competitive world out there. Who knows, um, sticking to the topic of Blue Alliance, I'm going to try to keep this alliance more, more, I don't know, more fresh, I have to say. Um, we have great members right now. Great current members, Gemini Jets 333, um, Jetboy 3, 11, 2000, and Mr. XX Gamer. Great members. Um, looking to, I don't know if I really want to expand this this time because I'm, once again, it's always tough to get new members. Why? One, for me, I love a member that's, you know, active and always there. Um, but, I'm not sure really, because some people will ask to join, and the problem with this, um, the problem with that is that um, when someone joins, then people that ask to join te technically don't really get the point of um, being in one alliance, just like an airline. An airline is in one alliance. Take for instance Lufthansa. Lufthansa is in Star Alliance. 
And you don't see Lufthansa going and trying to join one world and Sky Team at the same time, or becoming Virgin Lufthansa, something like that. It's just one airline and one alliance. It's loyal to that, and then from there, it creates something nice. It co-chairs with partners, stuff like that. And that's what an airport alliance to me should be. It should be something that's very dedicated, and not that... You're just trying to join every single thing to make your channel, you know, just advertise your channel. That's really, I don't know. I mean, it works, but at the same time, I don't think it would be the right thing to do. So, I think it would be nice to keep it at four members right now. Four or four of us. Um, It's easy to update new things, which I am working on another video right now for our alliance, updating some route maps and... I don't know, try to publicize everything, every resource that we have out there, such as, like, we do have a website, we do have a Blue Cloud Airport website, we do have a fictional airline alliance and stuff like that. I don't think any of, you, of my viewers know that about the Blue Alliance either, but it's out there, and I think it's time for me to um, publicize it more, expand it more, promote your channels more. So, that's that's about that, so... um. I like to see um to see this get very competitive. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Um, lots of great alliances out there by far, not gonna lie. Um we have the very, very um large I think it dominates half of the <laughs> airports out there or it's the GWA. My god, that thing is huge. Um I remember when the Blue Cloud Airport was all over YouTube and now, remember, people disappear, and, oh, well, um, I remember all the other alliances that used to exist out there, One World, the, the Sky Team Alliance, the One Sky MRO, Golden, no, and the Sunshine Airport Alliance, at the SEC, FSX 2004 alliance. All those alliances out there. Big. And I, I like it now, right now, specifically, because it's it's very fresh right now. The GWA, they have great, um, what do you call it, the great people in charge, great CEOs, JetBlue, 595, and Boeing Fan 727. My God, those... You, they have great websites. Websites makes me jealous. Um, and my two members that left, um, uh, Model Airport Network and Dan Reeser, successfully created the Open Skies Alliance. It's just great, great to see how they're doing with that. Uh, what else? Um, and uh, the other one, though. What's the other one? I know there's another, but I can't think of it right now. Oh, there's the Control Alliance, too. Very nice to see them going along. So, I don't know. So, basically, right now, I'm just talking about how, what I see every day on my subscription box. So, keep up with the good work with everyone. Everyone's channel. So, you guys have great reviews, great airports. Love to see everything going. All that new videos and materials and content. Larry is showing great. We're going great. So, um, that's the update for me. Nothing much really coming up. Just lots of renovations. So, just hang tight, um, and tell me what you guys think, again, that's about it, <laughs> um, hopefully this helps for people who are interested in my channel, as well as I'm interested in everyone else's channel, so, I'd love to see an update, so, decided why not to make one too, so, please all got us in Tinker, signing off, goodbye.